Holy crap, what is happening? the wall over there. That's the old gods of Asgard. What? Initiation. <gasps> Initiation. Waking up in places with no memory of how it got there. Point of interest it was cases of track objects and information that Saga in has acquired to chart collecting. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Dude, the in between. Oh, so initiation. So, so in. Oh, was it Quantum Break or Control? There was this, this board you went up to, a dry erase board, that said Alan Wake, and it said um, Departure, which was the I name of the book toward the he was writing in the first, uh, in the first game. And then there was initiation and then return. But it seemed to jump right to return, right, when we started playing this game. So we are actually playing the initiation chapters. That's freaking awesome. Um, all right, let's check out the TV. Whoa. Whoa! Look at that! Oh! <laughs> Oh man, dude! Look at this. Good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Come on. Oh, there he is. I, I recognize his voice now. That's the guy from um, Supergirl. I saw him post on his Instagram that he was in this game. That's so cool. Hey, there they are. Exactly the old gods of Asgard, a.k.a. Poets of the Fall. That's true. Oh, my goodness. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? An auto-fictional thought experiment? A horror story? A postmodern detective? What is happening? This isn't right. I haven't written anything. He's so humble. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man! Spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? Very meta indeed. Oh, boy. The tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake. Oh wow! Trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten. He has written. The book is set in New York, but that might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger. So, oh wow! Fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Yeah, and he had killed off Alex Casey. Just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. Isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the. This is so wild. This is so wild. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped, trapped there. Yeah. And he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing, like like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. 
That's exactly right. Oh, that's crazy. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Other Alan Lake in that room writing this as we speak? What? Are we all in your story, Alan? I wish you every success. I hope you're successful as your. He's got the Oh Dear Cafe. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. Yeah. Return. And that's what we're playing right now. So we're getting a trilogy in two games. <laughs> so yeah, Scratch. Scratch is writing this. He has somehow taken Alan's place in the writer's room. Dude, that's that's so cool though. That was really trippy. Hello? Okay, can we Wow, we're on the I needed to get home. To Alice. Yeah, Alice, right. Do we go that way? In between with Mr. Door. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's a cool name. Mr. Door. It's like um, Dark City. It was like Mr. Book, I think, was... Oh. This is Mr. Door's room. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it and felt right. Was I losing my mind? I know how you feel, dude. My interpretation of many worlds, Dr. Casper Darling. Man, there's just a lot going on in this uh, in this game. Holy crap. Old gods of Asgard. Oh wow, this is their room? Familiar. Yeah, dude. 665, neighbor of the beast. Um, yeah, that song I sing when I'm nervous. Um, you will see your love set free. You will need the kit, the witch's cabin key. Find the lady of the light gone mad in the night. That's how you reshape destiny. All right. There Whoa. There's something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Impossible to say. Can we turn it back on? I sadly wasn't looking. Well, what's happening? There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we both we both gotta get out. Oh crap! Whoa, like Evil Dead style. Is Mr. Mr. Scratch gonna have like the scraggly beard? Oh, it got him! It brought him back. In the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Dude, look, it's we're in the house on Cauldron Lake. I had to write more. Yeah, okay. I got gotcha. you. Let's do it then. He's got to really figure out how to get out because Thomas Zane must have got stuck in one of these loops for all those years before him and Alan were able to communicate. So Alan's become the new Thomas Zane. I use my writing to project myself out of this room. Jeez. 
he's I'm thinking those images of the, the scraggly beard crazy looking Alan is scratch oh we're back Oh man. We have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. Wait, what? Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Wow. Sam Lake. And of course we have Alan Wake here. The best selling writer the books the films are based off. Let's do this. Wow, these two guys were um also on the talk show from the previous game. There was a scene in the previous game where you were on a talk show. Different one. Welcome back to the show. And so, that's Alex, cr that's so as wild. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role <laughs> of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so exactly great. Like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's <laughs> not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I it's like Stephen King. Stephen King's like this. I don't know. I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. In case you're wondering why Alan sounds different, because there's an audio thing you can hear there. Um, just like Max Payne or Alex Casey, this actor is not the voice of Alan. Um, so someone's dubbing him, I believe. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed uh, the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching oh. the world through a rain slick window. See and hear how Alex Casey narrates? That's very Max Payne ish. I was trying to track down. So I know they're not the same character per se. But I'm pretty sure if Remedy fully owned Max Payne, still, this character's name would not be Alex Casey. That's great. Murder Case Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing Yeah, and as you can tell, that was not Sam Lake's voice. Um, what was that about a writer? About a lamp? Oh, wow. Oh, we're back. All right, jeez. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, good, it opened. Hello? We unlock it? Yeah. Does that help us for next time? That'd be cool if it did. What is that? I mean, I know it's someone singing or crooning. Toilets? Don't mind if I do. Okay, cool. They made a whole room with nothing to interact uh, in. Like, there's nothing in here to interact with. That's some dedicated devs right there. <laughs> Janitor's office. <gasps> no way. Tom. Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> this is the guy from Control. 
Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way um, out of here. Oh, I'm blanking on his name. Exit? <laughs> the hell of it is. Of course, Tom. He's calling the us Tom. Will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, what's his name? I forget it. Is it Yuri or Yori? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ati? Ati. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. <laughs> so don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember. Hank, he's calling us Tom. Turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? <laughs> hey, my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. This is so it's wild. In, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord. He's bird. calling us Tom because of Thomas Zane, yes, right? He. he thinks we're Thomas Zane because Thomas Zane was also or the original guy trapped here in the darkness. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. How is Ati here in the, the dark place? Up the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor ah. was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. He does have a friendly I face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Wow. Because when I heard the singing, I was like, it made me think of Control, but I wasn't thinking uh, Ati. Um, that's wild. That's so wild. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was Man, this with the janitor? It feels good to play as Alan, though, doesn't it? Look at that. It's almost like a, a lamp Emmy or a TV a award. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Oh. Oh, you can ch Oh! When the light jumped into my lap. The whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Oh, it changed. Yeah, look. We can go this way now. Oh, and there's the... Ah! I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp went out. Shifting the light. Oh, around. so we. Oh, I see. So the light carved out something new from the dark. It's like a clicker almost. Well, that's cool. Look at that. We can go behind the door, or we can go through it. Ah, dude, I like this new toy. Oof. Where are... Oh, man, this place is... I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm so quiet. It's just... There's a lot going on here. Can we... We need to... Keep the power on. Okay. Ah. So let's go through that door again, right? And boom. There we go. We need the power on. That makes sense.
There it goes. Now we can power the TV. Whoa! I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. Yeah, where is it? But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer to the map. I dive to the bottom, just like Thomas Aine. Dude. Dude. That was awesome. <laughs>